Welcome back. It's been a dry April and the fire danger is high for most of the state. Here's a look at the DNR map, which shows most of Wisconsin, including the whole southern part of the state, under a high fire danger. Today, there has been nine total wildfires, including three in Sauk and Columbia counties, that have burned more than three acres of land. So far this year in the state, there have been 509 total wildfires that have burned over 1,600 acres of land. And with the dry weather still here, planting season underway for area farmers. What does it mean for the future of crops? First Warren meteorologist Austin Kopnitsky explains why the dry weather could have a lasting effect. April showers bring May flowers, but what happens if the April showers never come? Parts of Wisconsin are currently in a moderate drought phase, including right here in the southern part of the state. This could lead to more issues if we don't see showers and soon. With a lack of rain, we've seen dry conditions, a high pollen count, and most importantly, a lack of lush green vegetation. Right now it's helping. It's not even May yet, and I don't know about everyone else, but... I know lots of farmers are doing really well on their progress. We're at 80%. Right now, this is good news for farmers like Steve Ziegler, but if this trend continues, it could spell trouble. Conditions are perfect for planting now, but uh, it's kind of a scary thought uh, having it all on the ground too and no rain. What do plants need to grow? Well, mainly sunshine and water. With a lack of showers, vegetation has struggled to bloom. Another thing that healthy plants like to do is give off a bit of moisture back into the air. With a decrease in the amount of overall green this spring, our relative humidity has stayed low. Corn sweat is a term you may have heard of, and it's crucial for us in our area to bring the beautiful Wisconsin summers we all know and love. With less overall humidity, rain showers struggle to reach the ground because our air is just too dry. This turns into a problem that feeds off itself. Less rain in the spring, turns to less vegetation. That in turn brings less overall humidity, which drops future rain chances. We would definitely struggle that way by not getting not getting a full crop. Th this seed could be junk, I suppose, and say it would start raining and towards the end of May, I don't know, you know, maybe we'd have to go replant it all. Worst case scenario. Now, if this trend continues, that could mean a hot and dry summer for Wisconsin, which could mean trouble for a lot of Wisconsin farmers and many others. Reporting in Dane County, I'm meteorologist Austin Kopnitsky.